Hi, yarn bees. How are you? Oh, you guys, it's Christmas for me. <laughs> um, okay, little story. Uh, about a year ago, maybe more. I don't remember, honestly. Is this even focused? Like, oh, I'm having such a hard time with my camera, you guys. Like, the focusing part. Jennifer, I need some help. Um, I, I don't know why the background is blurred out and yeah um I, I've looked through my settings I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong so it is what it is for now uh <clears throat> anyway my laptop has been broken for quite a while because not saying names but somebody dropped it and the screen the bottom of the screen, underneath the screen, the part that holds the screen onto the computer broke. Um, so anytime like I open my computer, it would want to fall, the screen would want to fall backwards. <coughs> Excuse me. And then after a while, I couldn't even close my laptop anymore. Uh, so it had to stay open. So if I was traveling or anything, I couldn't take it with me, which really sucked. But, um, then lately things happened, <laughs> not saying anything. Uh, and now my, the one side of my screen has completely come off my, the base. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I use my laptop for everything everything and like all of my editing of my videos it's all on my laptop all of my graphics everything is done on that computer I don't I have an iPad but I don't know how to use it I used it for my square up POS machine at the shop but that was about it because I don't know I don't know Apple products very well um, I'm I'm a Samsung Windows gal I I just you know, <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know how to get into files and all that on my Apple. I, my iPod is an Apple and I, yeah, it's crazy. So anyway, um, so at this point, my laptop screen was just like, just falling over. And I said to George, I says, I don't know how I'm going to do videos. I don't know how I'm going to do my graphics. I don't know how I'm going to do anything because I can't use this computer. And then the screen started going a, a little wonky. So yeah, I was freaking out a little bit. And so George is so wonderful. He said, how about I buy you a new laptop for Christmas? I was like, I'm going to cry. <sighs> this is the one time that I did I didn't say no because he knows that that laptop is my everything so I said okay and I've been waiting for it to come and it just showed up today as did a few other things that I ordered that I am so stoked about so I'm gonna leave the laptop showing you the laptop until the last part uh, <clears throat> I saw something on, was it Instagram or somebody's channel? Probably both. <laughs> it, it is a Cato ball winder. Now I've been looking for a ball winder that the king size kind of big ball winders, because now I have all of my plush yarn. And when the plush yarn cakes or um, skeins go all awry, you have to rewind it. So I've been doing it old school like my mom did and winding it into a ball. Well, the ball goes rolling all over the place, right? So you got to put it in a box or a basket or something. And it's just a pain in the neck. <clears throat> so I've been on the hunt for one of these. And... I haven't been able to really find anything that would ship to Canada for one thing. Um, and then I never really found anything where the base was big enough to be able to handle 
a big a skein of say blanket yarn or um like that the bigger six and seven wheat yarns i believe it was refined vibes that i may have seen it on first actually it probably was because i think i used her coupon code <clears throat> so I went to Cato, the Cato website, and holy Hannah, they were expensive. But then I realized it's electric. It's electric. Oh, sorry, showing my age. Um. So, anyways, I was like, I haven't had an electric ball winder in years, and I was like, oh, okay, we're gonna check this out with the coupon code for Canadians. It was like a hundred dollars or more like it was crazy 120 or something but with her coupon code it knocked it down to like 80 89 dollars or something which is still expensive for a ball winder but an electric ball winder sign me up so i bought it it took a little time getting here i was chomping at the bit i was every day i was looking at the tracker going where is it where is it? Why hasn't it been shipped yet? So I sent them an email saying, why hasn't my ball winder been shipped yet? Immediately it was shipped. <laughs> so I got it. And here it is. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey, if they want to sponsor me at any time, I'm up for it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm going to set this up and we're going to check it out. So, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to do that on a separate video. But I wanted to just show you what it, what I got. Okay? So, I'll probably do a separate video on that. I'll, I'll unbox it with you and, and set it all up. The next thing I got was a crochet book. Which is something I don't normally do. But... I did it anyway and I if you guys don't use honey the the website honey uh, com, I think it is and if like if you go there and you download it <coughs> excuse me um, it will give you lower deals on things right coupons and stuff like that I use it a lot and I use my Rakuten a lot so I actually got a $40 gift card for Amazon with the money that I racked up on the site <clears throat> so I got this book for free <laughs> now the one book uh, I think it's by the same the same author um, Megan Lapp. Um, she, she's, it's the creator of Crafty Intentions. She does all these monsters. Now, I remember the one book that she had, Heather the Crochet Witch, she has the book and she made a couple of the monsters out of that book. And it was so cute. And then Jeanette Miss Hootie Hootenin's Crafts, uh, I think it's called Hoot Hootie's Crafts now or Hootenin's Crafts now. Um, she was showing the book and she said that she got a copy of the other book, the Minikins, Minkins, Min I can't remember what it's called now. Um, she got a copy of the book for me. I haven't gotten it yet, but those are the other two books that this creator wrote. And then this book I decided to get. Um, and I want to try to make these with velvet and plush yarns because all of these are made with acrylic. So here it is. This is the one, one of the books. Um, it's a hefty book. It's a big book and I haven't looked at it yet. And of course I didn't bring my glasses in. Um, but from what I understand from Heather and from Jeanette is this book just breaks everything down 
and it oh wow look at all these pictures <gasps> oh this is cool um yeah oh my god look at this can't show you the this part but oh, how can i do this <gasps> i got my full my wooly socks in here because this room gets cold look at this picture <laughs> isn't that cute oh my goodness oh that's so cute um, I can't imagine what, how big these are going to be. I, I think these are like maybe this big. Um, but, well, George might be home. Um, but they, with plush yarn, they're going to be quite big. But holy cow, they are adorbs. Oh, like, Oh my goodness. Look at these, you guys. <laughs> ah! Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh man. I don't know how many critters there is in here, but there's a lot. Like, look at these. Oh, look at those. <laughs> oh man. These are so cute. The one that I saw, I saw a long time ago, and oh, you guys, these are so adorable. Um, the one that I saw was just an eyeball, and I saw that like quite a while ago, and I was, I saw it on Dark Side Eyes. I used to get Dark Side Eyes' eyes, <laughs> um, safety eyes, and there it is there. Um... And I saw it on their site. Look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing? I mean, if, if you don't like eyeballs, it might not be, but... <laughs> um, and then there's one that has the, the legs. Oh. <laughs> it reminds me of Mike on Monsters, Inc. Uh, so... Anyways, I saw that on their site and I was like, I want that pattern. I think it's adorable. But, I mean, there is so many. Each page, there's got to be, like, how many pages is in this thing? There's like 300 pages, over 300 pages in here. And almost every page, or every second page, is a pattern. I mean, this is crazy. Um... Like, with the eyes that I make, this is going to be... I mean, look at these. This is going to be cool. Oh, let's see. Can you see that? Ooh. Hang on. Oh, I've got the wrong light on. Hang on. Where's the... Whoa. Oh, sorry, you guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Like, look at these. They're adorbs. They're so cute. But yeah, like almost every second page, every page, the one page has the color or the, the animal on it. And then the second page is the actual pattern. But it shows there's the different body types. Um, there's the open mouths. There's the slob style body, kind of like a ghost body. Uh, cylinder bodies, like kind of looks like a pill. Uh, egg shaped bodies, sphere bodies. So you can take, and then there's square bodies, eyeball monsters. Um, so you can take any of these bodies and make whatever monster you want. That is cool. So any, any of the, um, the little parts on the monsters, you can switch them up. Oh my God. I mean, that's an endless amount of monsters that you can make. You could create your own. Like, that's insane. That's insane. Like, this was extremely well thought out. Extremely well thought out. Oh, I can't wait to get the other book too. Because in the other book, 
there's this little mushroom creature. Oh, I want to do that one. Um, yeah, like she shows you on here different things that you can do with these. I mean, wow, that's how they make open mouths. Wow, cool. I can't show you because it's the actual pattern. But it's basically, it's a circle, like just a circle. You fold it in half and you insert it when you have the, the body and you you do the cylinder body to a point and I guess then you chain or something to make the opening and then you put that that cylinder piece or that circle piece inside to make the open mouth that is really cool oh I'm so excited about this you guys <gasps> oh can you imagine these monsters in that mystical yarn oh I'm so excited oh I, I can't wait okay now um the laptop this laptop is an ace magic now i did a little bit of research and i basically asked what are the top 10 uh laptops for content creators graphic designers stuff stuff like that and it came up with this ace magic and there's a few different levels. Like there's the top, top level for gamers, which is like a 15 or $2,000 computer. I'm like, no. Um, I was going to go to down and it was like a $600 or something like that. And the difference between the one I was looking at and the one above or below the top tiered one was a matter of like $80. So George said, get that one because you're going to, you know, with all the graphics and everything that you do, you're going to use it. You're going to need it. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to argue. So yeah. So I'm, I'm going to open this and we're going to look at it for the first time. Okay. Let me move my stuff and I will get my cell phone camera and we will take a look at this. Okay, so right off the bat, this computer is a lot bigger than my other one. The pad on it is massive. I know that it said that it was a bigger pad on there. I'm hoping that's not going to be an issue for me because I'm not used to that. The screen is a lot bigger. My other screen is probably about that much. You know, it's, it's, I mean, this, this computer is meant for gamers and graphics designers and stuff. So it's a fairly big computer, but it's nice. It's nice. And of course, I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to load Windows and Google and all that kind of stuff on here. But just from what I'm looking at already, it's a nice big keyboard. Like the keyboard on it's really nicely laid out. Um, the buttons are nice and big. So, yeah, I'm really liking this so far. Trying to put all of my graphics and everything on here is going to be interesting. I haven't done that in a long time. Can I just say, I got this light from Amazon. Um, I am so happy with this. It's got a touch, this little touch screen thing here. This is going to be fantastic. Look at how bright it is. It it really lightens everything up. So doing tutorials here is going to be so nice. Here's my label printer. My beautiful label printer. <laughs> so yeah, so here here it is. I'm going to have to hook up my... Um... Oh, whoops, no. Not to yet. set up your device using oh. a screen reader, turn on the rater by pressing Windows and Control and Enter. 
Whoa. For more accessibility features, press Windows and U, or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. Oh my God, it talks to you. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> wow. Okay, that kind of shocked me a little bit. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so now, now I have to just go through... Canadian multilingual standards? Good lord. I don't need any multilingual stuff on my keyboard. Is this the right keyboard layout or output method? Yes, it's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. Um yeah, so I'm I'm gonna have to go through it and and I do the setup process and, and put all my stuff over it and all that kind of stuff so but so far so good so far i'm i'm liking how big it is and i think my eyes aren't what they used to be i'll tell you that so this is going to really help help my eyes <laughs> it's going to save my eyes <laughs> hey you're in a bees oh what a morning so i got up at six o'clock this morning because I had to go and get blood work done and getting scans done for my surgery that's coming up next week. For those of you that are new that don't know, I'm going in for extensive hernia surgery on the 12th. Is that Tuesday? <clears throat> Something like that. I don't even know what day it is anymore. So anyways, I have to go and get, I'm looking down because I'm crocheting. Uh, I have to get blood work done and scans and all this other stuff so that they know what they're working with um, when I go for surgery. <laughs> so I get to the clinic. It opens up at 7.30, so I wanted to be there early. Uh, so I got there at 7. There was already a lineup. They open the doors, and the next thing I know... Hi. 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 Yes. Which building? At the SAT building. The which one? The SAT building. I'm getting blood work done. Okay. Thank you. What do you think? I'm just sitting here. For oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I forgot my camera was rolling. What an idiot. He watched me looking for a parking spot. And now he's asking me if I'm just, what, sitting here crocheting for the freaking whatever. <sighs> guys, obviously bored. It's like, yeah, no, I'm just parked here in the parking lot for nothing better to do. I'd rather be at home crocheting, not sitting here. Anyway. Um, <laughs> that's the kind of morning I've been having, guys. So, I, um, yeah. I get there, there's a lineup, and we're watching them try to check people in and I'm like, what's happening? The computer systems were down. So we ended up having to wait another hour and until, I mean, they were trying to figure it all out, but it was, it was a nightmare. It was a complete shit show. Um, anyway, so then I had to go to the hospital to get some scans done. And um, I found out that I'm only getting a an x-ray, which is kind of nice. I'm going, yay. And she says, and you got to go for some blood work too, right? And I was like, I just went for blood work, but not for the surgery. And she said, where did you go? And I said, well, Life Labs. And she goes, oh, that's why you have to go to the satellite lab, the sat lab across the street. I'm like, really? It's like, oh. So I paid for two hour parking. I ended up having to ditch that and then come over here because it's like a block and a half away. And I didn't feel like walking that far. I know that doesn't seem like very far, but for me, just walking from my parking spot up the hill to the, the hospital was enough for me. So anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah. So now I'm sitting here, I'm in the queue I'm waiting 
And then this bozo goes and is bugging me. And I guess he has a job to do, whatever. So yeah, a little frustrated today. I haven't eaten anything. I haven't drank anything. I haven't taken my pills. I'm a little edgy. A little edgy. So, yeah. Anyway, so I finished my dragon that uh, I was giving for the customer. And I was like, okay, so what should I do now? And I thought, okay, should I go like sweater, plushy, sweater, plushy, you know, just kind of keep it interesting. So I thought, okay, I'll do another sweater. <laughs> so I'm starting another sweater. Um, this one is going to be a tutorial. Uh, but I, I'm starting it now to see how I like it. So far, so good. Uh, this is uh, Loops and Threads White from Michaels. And the Karen Latte. I got these ones from holy cow lost my train of thought <laughs> um Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hoot and his craft she went and got these for me because we couldn't get them in Canada and then after I ordered them with her they came into Canada <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so anyways this latte cake is marooned I as soon as I saw this I was like oh, that is so um Oh my God, you guys, like my brain is just Angela or my precious yarnery. Holy crap. I really need to go home and have a coffee or something. <sighs> so anyway, so I'm 10th in the queue. So hopefully it won't take too long. <sighs> so I'm just sitting here doing this. So I went and I did 102 stitches because you have to go by twos and I put it around my waist going oh that'll be enough and then as soon as I was working it up I was like whoa that's getting really long so now I'm going to end up going this way <laughs> so now it's going to be a cardigan very long cardigan at that oh my god so <clears throat> yeah but anyway but it will be a tutorial um I will as soon as I go home then I'll um start the tutorial and hopefully have that out uh, I don't know if I'll have it out before I go in for surgery though I don't know it'll I have to see how this week goes my sister's coming on Thursday because she's got to go for her IV um, and then she's going to be staying Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and we're going to be making some stuff we're going to be actually making the bags that I was telling you guys about um, for like the crocheters pack it's they aren't going to be a mystery pack because <laughs> because I'm going to end up showing you what's going in them so but there's lots of goodies in there <clears throat> it's not just going to be yarn so anyway all right I'm going to go and figure out where I am in the queue now and hope for the best if I get into a fight with this guy about the parking I'm going to I'm just in that kind of mood today. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. So I made something. Um, I had an order from my, the lady that cleans my house. Um, <clears throat> I, unfortunately, I can't. Because my back and everything, I can't clean toilet, um, bathtubs and stuff like that. So we have a friend of ours that comes in and does it for me, and we pay her. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, she ordered a dragon, uh, one of my three-foot dragons. And so I, I actually made another dragon. I think I showed it to you guys. It's like the small, like small. One is Winnie, one is Willow. The, the other one was Willow the dragon. She grabbed onto that right away. <clears throat> so she's buying that one. 
And then I made this one for her. Now, my lighting, you guys, I don't know. Because if I open this, it's like I've got side lighting. So, and then I've got my overhead light here. I can't have my other light because I have nowhere to plug it into. Jeez. The struggle is real. So anyway, <clears throat> so here's, ooh, here's my Winnie the Dragon. Now it's like, it's three feet. <laughs> so, and her wings underneath are white. She's got the big horns. I put big horns on her. And then her eyes, oops, let's see if you can see her eyes. Let's see if I can, oh, there we go. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's her eyes. Oh, I didn't put her nostrils on. It's probably okay because she's so dark that I don't think it's going to matter. But she's got all the scales down. And then she's got the fluffy tail. So, yeah, so there she is. So I finally finished that. <clears throat> uh, put her over here. <sighs> ah, so, yeah. So then uh, I finally got, I, I have not heard from my winner, my Yarnaby. I haven't heard from her. Um, I'm still waiting. And But I have heard from my Bumblebee. <laughs> yes. And guess where she's from? All the way across the world. <laughs> she, yeah. <clears throat> yep. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think she could be much further from where I am. <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, yeah, that one's going to cost me a bit of money. <laughs> so, but having said that, I did say you could live anywhere. I, I was opening it up to everywhere. Yeah. If it hadn't been the sweater that was going, that wouldn't have been such a big, big deal because I could have compacted it. Um, but this is the Forest Guardian that's going. And, yeah. So, we got to figure that out. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> So I'm going to start working on that. I have one week today is when I'm going for my surgery. It's going fast now. I'm starting to get phone calls from nurses and everything, getting me all prepped, ready to go. I'm getting really nervous. But everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. <sighs> Oh, uh, yeah, so that's, that's happening. Um, what else? I am going to start working on some of those monsters. I was dreaming about that monster eye. Can you believe that? I'm going, oh, I just realized I haven't even really looked at the inside of the book yet. And I was like, I think I just re I realized how they do that eye. I've always wondered how they did it. And I had a dream about it last night. And I was like, well, that's not going to be so hard, is it? You know, so, you know I'm, my biggest concern is I don't know if the 30 millimeter eyes is big enough for these monsters. I don't know. I got to look and see what size eyes she uses in there. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's that. What else? I'm sure there's other things that I wanted to talk to you guys about, but now it's crunch time. I'm starting to stress a little bit and I'm, yeah, my brain is just going, Zzz. absolutely. I can't remember a thing. Um, and <clears throat> yeah, uh, my sister's going to be coming on Thursday and we're going to start working on those bags. Uh, and some t-shirts, hopefully, and yeah, I really want to get some stuff up on my page, so, yeah, uh, what else, 
I can't think of anything, guys. I really can't. So I'm going to sign off of this video. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you so much. And thank you so much for all of your love and support. Um, and don't forget, if you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe and like if you want to. I'd appreciate it. It doesn't cost anything. And it just helps me out a little bit. Because <clears throat> I'm probably going to need it. Because I don't have an income now. <laughs> so, they don't give us very much to be a YouTuber. Let me tell you that. But every little bit helps. It helps me be able to get yarn and be able to show you guys things that I make. Um, I still have a whole bunch of ideas for videos coming up. Whether or not I'm actually going to be able to do that stuff after the surgery, I don't know. So, <clears throat> we'll find out. Okay? I'll talk to you guys later. I love you all.